John Michael Lyles. Cutting in, scores! Lyles, who has not scored a goal in a game since November 9th, scores a shootout goal to put the Avs ahead in this uh, shootout and putting the pressure on the Coyotes to have to score to keep it going. Holborn won the draw. Lyles with the shot, he scores! Two on one, Boychuk. This way, Lyles, he scores! John Michael Lyles against his former team, four to one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Joe. I also know as Jay-Z Production on YouTube. Today, I got an amazing and wealthy talented guest. What is your name, sir? I'm John Michael Lyles. Welcome, Mr. Lyles. I got a couple questions for you, if you don't mind. Thanks. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. So, uh, what are you doing during these times of quarantine? Uh, well, I started a new career. Uh, I'm still doing part-time TV for the Colorado Avalanche, and uh, I'm actually a real estate broker in Vail, Colorado now with Live Sotheby's International Realty. So, uh, new career, exciting. Um steep learning curve and uh yeah just trying to uh absorb it all and and uh learn as much as i can right now wow is there any reason why you want to go into real like being like part of realty or uh you know what i i mean i've i've had uh just a lot of um a lot of different uh interactions in in the real estate world over the course of my career having played in colorado and toronto and north carolina and boston and so um, for me, it was just something that, uh, I, I never, never really thought a ton about until I, I was actually sitting down with a friend of mine up here in Vail, who's been a broker here for about 16 years. And, you know, we got to talk and, and we, we've done a couple of transactions together on some spec projects. And he asked me if I'd ever be interested in doing something, uh, within the real estate world. And I kind of thought about it and, you know, during quarantine, I had a lot of time on my hands. And so decided to study and get my real estate license and that's how i ended up uh where i am right now wow that's cool well if yeah. my, when i get older if i ever go to colorado you gotta hook me up with the house i guess <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> happy to help any way i can thank you wow that's cool yeah i just spend this whole quarantine i've just been like doing like you know i just graduated virtually high school mm -hmm. okay and then I just started doing these podcast interviews with, like with my favorite people. Like you're my one of my favorite hockey players of all time, believe it or not. Thanks. Thanks. So I just do that. Nice. And I interview like a whole bunch of like eighties actors and actresses and mm -hmm. other former athletes, like another like a realtor like you, uh Mr. Eddie Lack. He, yeah, yeah, I know Eddie. I played with him in Carolina. Yeah. I interviewed him before, so Yeah. Yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, what made you want to become a hockey player? And who was your biggest inspiration growing up? Well, I, I just loved playing sports in general. Um, hockey was one of those. I played baseball, uh, played a lot of golf, played, um, you know, soccer, all sorts of different sports. Loved, uh, just loved sports in general. And for me, um, I, I played as many sports as I could up until uh, hockey kind of took over and, and uh then it was just hockey all the time when I was about 15, 16 years old, actually about 16 years old. Um, I just focused on hockey and, and uh, I never really thought about necessarily being a professional hockey player. I just wanted to, to keep playing hockey at the next level. And, you know, somehow I ended up uh, ended, ended up in the NHL at one point. And I was really fortunate uh, in that regard, just being a smaller um, defenseman from Indiana, not not super common and and uh yeah just you know one of the one of those uh one of those fortunate ones that uh, was able to make it to the next level and make a career out of it well i have you know i think you were a very talented hockey player thank you thank mm you -hmm. no problem okay now who's your favorite and least favorite team growing up and who's your favorite player growing up Growing up, my favorite team was the New York Rangers. Brian Leach was my favorite player. Uh, American-born defenseman, helped the Rangers win the Stanley Cup in 94. Um, just a guy that I, I really tried to model my game after. I was fortunate enough to play with him in the 04 World Cup right after I broke into the NHL. And that was a, you know, a big career highlight of mine, um, being on the ice with him and playing on the power up and play with him in the, in the World Cup. Um, I loved the New York Rangers growing up. We got a lot of their games on – well, not a lot of their games. We got some of their games on TV in Indiana – 
I, I don't necessarily, I, I don't think I really had a least favorite team growing up. I just, you know, I loved watching sports in general and, and uh, yeah. Well, too bad Indiana didn't like have like a NHL team, you know, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I know like for, uh, though for like, you know, other leagues, isn't it like the Indy Fuel? I think, isn't it like a team too? Yeah. Indy Fuel is a team right now. It was the Indianapolis Ice when I was growing up and the Indianapolis Checkers. Um, so some, yeah, some of the, the minor league teams that, that have been in Indianapolis. And I grew up going to the Indianapolis Ice games and, and the Checkers games. And that's kind of how I got started in hockey was, was going to those games. And then I wanted to play hockey when I was, you know, five, six years old after going to some of those games with my, my parents and my grandparents. Wow. You're like, oh, these people are cool. I want to be just like them. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay. Now, how did it feel to be drafted by the Colorado Avalanche in like 159th overall in 2000? And who was there to witness it? Uh, nobody was there to witness it. I was working at a summer camp in Indiana. Um, I knew the draft was going on that day, but I wasn't sure that I was ever going to get drafted. So I wasn't at the draft, um, mm-hmm. you know, being a, a lower round pick. Um, there was no reason for me to be at the draft. So I got a phone call from the Avalanche saying that they had drafted me in the fifth round and, and uh, Pierre Lacroix, and, um, you know, just saying, hey, this is the easy part, getting drafted. And, you know, you're going to have to work harder than you've ever worked to make the NHL. And um, I, that phone call still sticks out in my mind. Well, I, I think the Avalanche like, got, like a, in my opinion, like a steal. That was a really good pick. <laughs> really good pick, too. Thanks. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, what was your pregame, like, song, drink, and, like, which role? snack uh i mean i always got dressed the same way getting ready for games so just putting on the equipment the same way trying to do um <clears throat> trying to do the same things uh each and every game you know the warm-up uh didn't necessarily have a pregame song um pregame drink was just you know electrolytes and and um you know maybe a protein bar or something like that nothing nothing too crazy i was never a big caffeine guy or anything like that uh mm-hmm. yeah that was it was a my, my my pregame rituals were pretty similar tape my sticks um you know get stretched out and, and get warmed up and uh get ready to go mm-hmm. and just kick some butt on ice <laughs> something <laughs> like that yeah <laughs> okay now do you have a favorite band or artist and type of music uh, I'm a big country guy. I grew up in Indiana, so country was was always big. I, I listen to a lot of country, um, but I also, I mean, I've been to a few concerts. I'm a big, you know, Mumford and Sons fan, uh, Killers fan, um, yeah, and then any any and all country, pretty much. So country is like the yeah <laughs> yeah nice. yeah. I've, I've actually met my favorite band of all time, believe it or not. Oh, like, nice. musical, like nice. you. Know, Queen, like we are champions, we were rocking. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. I met them. <laughs> that was pretty nice. cool. That's awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now, do you have a favorite food and why is it your favorite? Like, what is your favorite? Hi. Oof. I don't know. It's tough. Um, I just like all food. I'm I'm not not too picky. If it's good food, I'll eat it. Um, you know, I have two two kids now, and so for me it's I cook a lot of a lot of food, a lot of meals for them and um mm. Yeah, it's it's more just uh, I love good food and and uh, yeah, that's that's I don't I don't have like one particular thing. I mean, I could eat pizza probably all day every day. Um, you know, that's that's a pretty standard answer. I, I think. Mm-hmm. Do you like steak? Like steak, pasta? Do you like those? Uh, I mean, I like steak. I don't eat it all that often, but yeah, I do like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a favorite movie and TV show? movie and tv show tv show oh it's always sunny in philadelphia it's probably my favorite tv okay. show uh very very funny uh not for all ages uh, <laughs> um movie i i like the, the the jason Bourne movies i was always a big fan of the jason Bourne books uh and so yeah those movies are are, are really good I, I love older movies too the 80s you know kind of cheesy rom-coms whatever um but yeah my wife and i usually watch those whenever they're on ghostbusters and stripes and things like that basically anything with bill murray uh, <laughs> well if i ever get him i'll play like mr lyles you want to join the call <laughs> yeah exactly i'd love to yeah yeah 
Now, if you never run like the field of hockey, like if you never went to hockey, what would your career be? And what other interests and hobbies do you besides doing hockey and being a realtor? Huh? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. You know, it, it's uh, if I if I if I didn't play hockey or if I wasn't playing hockey, I feel like I probably would have ended up somewhere in the Caribbean bartending. Uh, or if I didn't do that, uh, probably end up being a firefighter of some sort. My, uh, my mom's whole side of her family, uh, her two brothers and, and, um, one of their sons ended up being firefighters. So I have a lot of respect for, for firefighters, my brothers in the military, in the Navy, um, something, you know, some sort of service like that, whether it's firefighting or uh, military, something like that as well. So, wow. Do you have any hobbies? Like what's your hobbies? uh right now hobbies are just whatever my kids want to do so my five-year-old skis actually both my kids ski so i ski quite a bit now living in vale um yeah mountain biking golf uh basically anything that i can get outside and uh and be outside those are those are pretty pretty standard hobbies for me at this point in time oh uh-huh. i like that oh okay now uh how does it like? How does it feel like have the record for consecutive like points like like you know I mean like in a game like you know I mean point scoring streak in the season nine games? How's that? Feel? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it feels good. It's uh, you know, it's records are made to be broken, so I'm sure somebody will break it. Uh, I think John Klingberg, my dad told me today, John Klingberg started out the season with I think three or four games in a row now with assists. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if he if he breaks that record. But you know what? It was uh, it's been it's been fun, and you know, not everybody can say that they have a record in the NHL. And for right now, I do. So I'll just I'll just enjoy it for what it is. And, I, and like I said, records are made to be broken. Yeah. Okay. Now, is there like a player like you like in the NHL? It's like a player you think is going to be really good. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of Kale McCarr right now for the Avalanche. He's a tremendous young defenseman, um, really good offensive defenseman. Uh, skates, you know, skates well, moves the puck really well. Just, just a solid D-man in all facets of the game. So it's uh, it's fun to watch him, and especially doing part time TV for the Avs. Still, I get to watch him on a regular basis and talk about him. So yeah, I would say he's probably my my favorite uh, young player to watch at this point in time in the NHL. Uh, like what advice would you give younger people who want to be like a hockey player? What's your advice? Uh, my advice is not everybody makes it. And so you just got to make sure that you're having fun and, and working as hard as you can. And it doesn't matter how hard you work. There's always somebody that's going to be working harder. And so if you can have a good mix of skill and, and hard work and determination, that's going to go a long way. And if you're not having fun with the game, it's pretty obvious. Uh, and so you just got to make sure that you're continuing to have fun. And it's as cliche as it sounds, uh, you know, I think when you're having fun, I think, I think things are, you're, you're a lot more productive. Um, you're a lot more efficient and, uh, just that love of the game is, is huge, um, for, for, you know, making it to the next level. I like that. And like you said, like, I like the advice. It's really good advice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. Now that you're like, you know, you don't play hockey more, like you're retired. I know that you're real. Do you want to like be like a coach, GM nope. sometime? Nope. 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 If I wanted to be a coach or GM, I'd be doing something with one of those teams. I'm good um, doing the youth hockey stuff with the Avalanche and doing some TV work and then being a realtor. I, I, I love what I do and um, I'm sitting in my office right now in, in, in Vail. And um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun to be able to do this, to be able to help people in a different way. And I, I don't have any desire to be a coach or a general manager or a scout or anything like that. I put my time in with hockey. I got two young kids and I love spending time with them. Family first. <clears throat> yep. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now, is there anything you'd like to promote and shout out? I can link down below. Or... Uh, oof, I'm trying to think, uh, Colorado Avalanche Alumni Association. I'm the, I'm the president of the Avalanche Alumni Association. So we started that uh, a little over a year ago now. And, um, uh, just a, a great group of guys trying to give back to the youth hockey in uh, the state of Colorado. And, um, we've been able to, uh, to grow that uh, quite a bit here in the last year or so, and had some good help from the, uh, Avalanche organization. And, yeah, it's a uh, it's a tremendous um, 501c3 that uh, you know gives back to to hockey in Colorado and and uh, a lot of great alumni are involved with it. Oh, I like that. Well, I'm a, do you have any questions, Mr. Laws? You got any? No, uh -uh. no, I don't. Okay, thank you. Well, I thank you all so much. For, oh, sorry, you're saying? <laughs> no, uh -uh. go ahead. Oh, 
you thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Mr. Lyles, for being an awesome and amazing guest. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a great day, everybody, and stay awesome. And stay awesome, Mr. Lyles. Thanks. <laughs>